Also what I'm going to do now, as, as we said, radium has a half time of 1590 years then there's radon, which clings to our coal and the dot nucleus is polonium, lead, bismuth and the other polonium there you can see they just have a half time of a few minutes or even seconds and then comes lead to an atom, which has a half time of 22 years and yeah, and so on. It will become stable lead in the end, but the interesting thing is that a lot of those highly radioactive elements, as you can see with just a half time of 3 minutes, should decay in maybe like 19 minutes. So, in fact, the radioactivity of the coal should go down by far within 19 minutes. So, I will measure it again then. This is why I have noted the time of measurement here. And I will just leave it in the open so it can decay in peace and measure it again soon. Alright, 19 minutes have passed since I measured the coal that has been with the uranium ore for the first time. Now I got 1514 counts in total over 10 minutes, which means there is an average of 151 counts per minute, while 19 minutes ago I had 260 counts per minute. And those are the results of the radium watch hand measurement. 4,076 4, counts. Well, 90 minutes ago we had 8,412 counts, which averaged to 841 counts per minute. Well, now we just have about 400 counts per minute. So that's less than half. And this actually proves my theory. Let's look at the decay chain again. The, the, yeah, but there's actually radon that has been absorbed by the coal. The radioactivity of the coal should decrease in about 90 minutes by far. As you can see, the half time of the next nucleate in the decay chain is polonium and has a half time of 3 minutes. And there's lead with a half time of 26 minutes, bismuth with a half time of 19 minutes, and polonium with a half time that's hard to measure and um, yeah, as you can see the, the total half time is probably about well, just over 100 minutes so that means after maybe like 300 minutes everything will have decayed because um, yeah, radioactive decay is totally random so the half time doesn't mean twice the half time and everything is gone just as a side note and after that there is lead to an attend with a half time of 22 years so this is a lot less radioactive than all the other nucleates prior to it yeah this is why the coal is so much less radioactive now by the way I will also measure it again in a few days and um, it should be even less radioactive by then but uh, the decrease of radioactivity shouldn't be quite as significant as it was before. Yeah, now, I think, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this coal because um, it, is, it has been contaminated and it's gonna stay radioactive, as you can see. Lead 2 in a 10 was a half time of 22 years. It's gonna stay radioactive for maybe 50 years or something. What am I gonna do with it? It's radioactive waste. Oh well. Also, thanks to a scanner clearly for giving me the inspiration to this experiment. Thanks a lot, dude. You really helped me a lot. Oh god, now I started saying dude like an American.